The previous example was a generic transfer function k over tau 1s plus 1 times tau 2s plus 1. So now I'm going to actually add values for tau 1 and tau 2. So here, our open loop transfer function is 100 over s over 100 plus 1 times s plus 1. So now, let's do the same thing that we did for the other example, which is we're going to begin by drawing gamma sub s. So in order to do this, I'm going to pull out the trusty graph paper and take it to town. So we'll go ahead and draw our axes here. Here's our pole at minus 1 over 100, and here's our pole at minus 1. So let's go ahead and draw gamma s. Again, we start in these directions, and we make our contour begin at the origin, right here. And we're going to make it travel up the origin, and then all the way around to here, and then back up with radius infinity. So this is going to be the travel that our test point is going to make. And we're going to evaluate that test point at various places in order to plot where it is in the open loop. So our next phase is to then draw gamma sub L, or sometimes we call it gamma G O L. So we're going to do that in the F of S domain. So let's go for it now. I'm going to go ahead and create a couple of test points here. So I'm going to start again at omega equals zero. So if we evaluate g at omega equals zero, we get a gain of 100 and a phase of zero, or angle of zero. So we find ourselves off at this point, 100. So now we're going to pick a couple of other points. So if we pick 0 0.1, evaluating this gives us a magnitude 99.5 and an angle minus 5.76. So that's about right there. For point 2, 98 and minus 11. For point 3, 96 and minus 16. So I encourage you to do all these calculations on your own so that you can see where they're coming from. And so clearly we're going to have to increase by maybe values greater than just 0 0.1 at a time. So if I increase by 0 0.5, now we're talking about a gain of about 90 and an angle of about minus 27. For a value of 1, now we have an angle of minus 45 and a gain of 71. And so we're getting closer and closer to crossing the J omega axis, the higher values that we pick. And at some point, we'll actually cross it. This is our j omega crossing. And then we have one or two points over here as omega gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So we're picking values now of like 100 and 1,000 and 10,000 until we finally reach the origin. And then we can draw this part of the contour. So this is a pretty easy transfer function to draw. And by symmetry, again, we'll get the other half. And we can go ahead and indicate the direction here. So again, just like our previous example, we're never crossing some point over here minus 1, just because of the way that the contour ends up being drawn. So no matter which value you pick for omega, we're never going to end up taking a circle around minus 1 here, which tells us that our system is stable for any gain k greater than 0.